My name is Bill Church, and I'm with the DIY Dynamics team. I'm excited to share with you today how to assemble our latest Lego motorized turntable for DIY Dynamics projects. Before I get into uh, the assembly of the Lego pieces, all, this whole system is, is more than just the Lego because we've got a power supply, We've got a unique um, adapter that we use to connect the motor to the power supply. And then we've got a connection between the motor system and the turntable itself. So I just want to show what those parts are, what they do, and then we'll get into building them. So we've got, uh, first and foremost, we need, I'll clear this away, we've got our Lego motor system and we need to connect that to the side of the turntable because if this motor is spinning here unless it's pressed against the side of the uh, turntable in this case by hand you know the turntable won't move pressed it will move so in what we did instead of some other techniques which allowed us to compress from the outside with a a big Lego plate system that we used. Uh, what we're using now are zip ties, reusable zip ties, so we can connect them and disconnect them. So first off, we've got a zip tie that's coming through the wall of the OXO tank. That's the brand of the turntable. By the way, all of the parts you need to buy are included in a spreadsheet that's uh, linked down below in the description of this video. Okay, so we are, we've got the zip tie that's through the wall of the OXO. We're gonna connect that to a zip tie that's through a beam in our motor system or our motor assembly. And now that those are, we use the zip tie to pull the two things together, the motor and the, uh, the motor and the, and the rubber edge of the turntable, and it turns. Um, just let me show you a little bit more there. So this piece um, here, we're going to show you how to make that. It's fairly straightforward, but we'll show you that in a, in a few step-by-step -step instructions. Um, and then that's attached to the bottom here. And again, reusable zip ties so that the two systems can, we can connect and disconnect. Great, so at this point, we've got the motor, the wheel driven by the motor uh, pushed against the edge of the turntable. This is now turning, but it's turning by hand. I need this to turn with a power supply. This wire here, uh, well, instead of uh, cutting this wire and using uh, alligator clips to connect it to a power supply, instead of doing that, what we did is designed a, uh, an adapter, a 3D printed adapter here that we can plug the Lego motor connector in. Um, and then on the other side of that, we've got um, the, the, the right jack for our power supply. So now at this point, I'm now uh, running, will run the motor with the power supply. Let's see if that works. So about eight. About eight volts, oop, not pressed in enough. Let me, um, and then if I want to turn that faster, if I want to slow it right down, So variable power supply, 
controlling the motor, turning the turntable. Now let's get into assembling these, these systems uh, one system at a time.